Hey guys, this is Wepagogira X. I'm back with another episode of Wepagogira X Plays, and this time I am going to do Dragon Ball Fusion Generator. So, wait, wait, we need full screen. There we go. I figured I would do this because I saw a couple of fun videos of it done by Masako X, who does some of the voice acting with TC3, Team 4 Star for Dragon Ball Z Abridge, and some other stuff. That's how I got inspired to do this. So I figured, let's see what awesome fusions we get and what potential monstrosities are born. The first one is Kibi Han, which is Kibito and Gohan Teen. And let's see what this guy looks like powered up. Not bad. Looks pretty good. And what is the reverse of it? Gohan Teen and Kibito. That's Gohato. Oh, uh, hmm. Not the best looking, but, I mean, it's not the worst. On to the next one, I guess. This is Garlic Jr. Super and Android 18. It's Super Garloid 18 Jr. Okay. Interesting. And let's see the reverse. Super Androlic Jr. That looks... I, I don't even know what to say about this one. I just... Oh boy. It is not a good looking one. I mean, I thought the first one was not good, and then this one showed up. So, alright. Let's go to the next one. Okay, so we got Gohan Teen and Majub, so that's Gohaub. Okay, that, that looks pretty cool. Powered up. Super Saiyan. Yeah, definitely looks neat. And the reverse. Majuhan teen. That that looks that looks cool as well. And I'm gonna assume even cooler. Powered up to Super Saiyan. Yep, definitely. That's definitely a win. So far I I, I think we've got uh, some some decent ones that we've seen so far. Let's see what the next one we do. So we've got Mr. Satan and Grandpa Gohan. This is Grandpa Mr. Saffon. Pretty much looks like a slightly overweight Mr. Satan wearing the bunny mask. Nothing wrong with this. Pretty good. And the reverse is... Mr. Grandpa Gohata. That that looks pretty cool. I mean, with the beard peeking out and everything, it almost looks like a older Master Roshi. Like, not as old as he appeared, but like somewhere in between his... when he was really young and before he was the old guy that he was when you first see him in Dragon Ball. All right, that that's a cool one. Let's see what the next one is. Spopovich and Spopovich. Well, I I was not expecting this to get just a. This is that I've I fooled around with this a couple of times, and before recording this video, this is the first time where I've gone in the same character fused with him essentially himself. I did not think that that would happen with the random generator, but, oh well. This was definitely a disappointment because we really didn't get anything new. So hopefully the next one we get is much better. Okay, Majub and a Cyberman. Oh my god, that that is creepy as hell. That, that thing looks terrible. It's basically a Cyberman with Majub's skin tone and Majub's hair. Ugh, god, that, that, that is... That is like a nightmare creature. That is a creature you would see if you had a Dragon Ball themed nightmare. Let's see with the reverse. I, it can't get any better. Well, actually, I was wrong. That looks actually slightly better. And that that's Cybop? Oh man, I, I don't even know how to say that. Cybob? I. I I'm going to stop because I have no clue how to say that. I guess it would be Saiba Oob. Okay. 
I'm done. I'm done trying to pronounce it, but this is definitely a much better fusion of cyber of a cyberman of the cyberman and Baju. Definitely is. He, he looks almost like a weird Namekian. Okay, Let's see what the next one we get. So we got Shenron, and well, Shenron, uh, Nuova, and Android Nineteen. Okay, that that's pretty cool. Android Nineteen having wings, a little bit redundant considering Android Nineteen doesn't need that. So we have Nuova, Shenoid Nineteen. Okay, pretty cool. What is the reverse? Nuova, Androron. Okay, that looks not good at all. I'm I'm just saying it now. I I am not a fan of it. Let's move on to another one. Okay, Perfect Cell and Chaozu. Perfect Seltzu. <laughs> Actually, kind of cute, <laughs> and I like it. Okay, what's the reverse? Perfect. <laughs> I'm sorry. Perfect. Chios. Chiol. This isn't bad either. I mean, we we've seen worse already. Okay. What's the what's another one we can get? Yamu and Dende. We have. Yade, I guess. Not bad. Uh, I'm getting a garlic. Junior vibe from this. And what's the reverse? Denmu. Okay, that that looks pretty much almost like a like a piccolo piccolo variant. Yeah, that that reminds me of Piccolo, except he's got like the the power sucker thing. What's the next one we've got? So we got Goku Kid and Raditz. So this is. Kid goats, kid gots. All right, uh, that looks pretty neat. Powered up into Super Saiyan. Okay, I like the I like that the tail is um, yellow during the Super Saiyan transformation. All right, what is the reverse of this? Kid Redito. Uh, I like it. It I I think this looks cool. And powered up. Super Saiyan? Yeah. It's it's like Radito has the, the Super Saiyan 3 hair. Oh my god. If Radito went Super Saiyan 3, do you know how long the hair on that guy would be? It would be ridiculously long. Radito would essentially be the Super Saiyan equivalent of Rapunzel, I would think. Just let that sink in for a minute, okay? For a moment. A Super Saiyan... Rapunzel, essentially, if Redito went Super Saiyan 3. That's what I'm thinking. I mean, the hair is already ridiculously long to begin with. Let's move on to our next one. We've got Corrin and Bad Launch. So we have Bad Conch. We basically have a cat girl with a gun. Basically, I'm thinking the DC villain that Wonder Woman fights, Cheetah, essentially. that That's what I'm looking here at, except instead of looking like a cheetah where it looks like just a white cat okay what is the the reverse of this bad lauren oh <laughs> the, the, this is this is hilarious it's it's essentially corn with bad launch's hair and it just looks funny it it basically it's almost like corn is wearing a wig i think and getting ready to go to a Halloween party or something. Alright, what's the next one we've got? Okay, so we got Broly and Pycon. So we got Brocon. Looks okay. I mean, the, the, the skin tone looks weird. I mean, I like I like the outfit. The outfit looks cool. The hair looks cool. It's the skin tone does not look the best. So, power it up. Does that improve it? Uh, not much. But if we reverse it, we got Pikely. Way better. Way better. I think that's a vast improvement to what we just saw. Just looks really cool. 
essentially it's a even more buffed up version of PyCon going shirtless. And what does Super Saiyan look for this? Not much different, just the, the yellow aura. Let's move on and see. So we got Trunks and Chilled. And that gives us Trolled. That is another hideous monster. That is, again, the stuff of a Dragon Ball nightmare. Alright, what happens if we reverse these two? We got Chinx. Chilinx. The, that, okay, that's that's slightly better. Actually, it's way more than slightly better, in my opinion. I mean, at least it's not nightmare fuel like that, like the one we just saw. And power it up. No, not a big difference, so let's just move on to the next one. Okay, so we got Devil Man and Raditz, so we got Devilitz. Okay. Power it up. Okay. Wait a minute. Wait, if we reverse them, put it back. Eh, huh, interesting. Devilitz. Look at that. Devilitz loses his wings when going Super Saiyan. Interesting. That, uh, that's a definitely an interesting change. Definitely, then, that makes the Super Saiyan form uh, look a little bit better, actually. I think that looks way better. Okay. Now let's actually look at Radaman. Yeah, I, I have no clue what to think of this. Definitely not a villain that I would want to come across at all. I mean, the outfit's a little bit plain and lacking. I mean, at least they should have thrown on uh, Raditz's Saiyan armor over that. Like the chest part over here. That, that might have made it a little bit more interesting looking. But, oh well. Alright, let's go to the next one. Captain Ginyu and Birder. So we got Captain Ginter. What the hell is wrong with his mouth? It looks... It does not look like... It looks like his mouth is like on the side of his head. I mean, I know that that's what... It's because of Birder's picture, but that's because of the way the Birder is looking, but... Man, it looks weird. Alright, so what does Captain Burgu look like? Okay, slightly better. I mean, it looks like he's, like, his face still looks messed up. He looks like a weird cyclops creature. One eye in the center, his mouth, and his nose is off-center. It looks like his nose is to the, is, like, to the right of his mouth. Oh, man. What's our next one? Icon and a Cyberman. First off, my problem with this thing is th there's no way that that little Cyberman body is able to hold up all the weight that's in Pycon's helmet or his hat or whatever. Because considering wasn't that weighted clothing, if I'm remembering correctly, that body would have the neck of this thing would have probably just broken because of that. All right, what's the reverse? Cybercon. Okay, I like this one way more. Looks pretty cool. Color scheme of the clothing looks cool. Definitely a improvement from what we saw last. All right, let's see the next. Turles and Garlic Jr. in super mode. So this is Super Turlic Jr. Looks like very Frankenstein-like with the face. Just like the face was... I, I, I don't even know how to describe it. All right, let's power this guy up. Okay. And what's the reverse of this? Super Gar Garless Jr.? Yeah, that, that looks cool as well. And power it up. Uh, just the yellow aura. What's the next one? Yajirobe and the Turtle. So that's Yajital. Again... This looks like the turtle is just wearing a wig. It's like, they told the turtle, you're coming to a party, you've been invited to a costume party, and the turtle decided, I'm going to dress up as Yajirobe. I'll put some makeup on to lighten my skin tone a bit, and I'll just put on this Yajirobe wig. That, that's what I'm seeing in this. I'm really, I'm really fearing what this one looks like. Turcha. I don't even know what to say. 
it's essentially th- this is like Yajirobe shaved his head, put on some prosthetics for this, and to make himself look like a turtle. All right, let's move on. Let's just move on. So we got Trunks and Krillin. So we got Future Trulin. It's pretty cool. We just basically have almost like a teenage Trunks, or well, almost looks like, yeah, pretty much just like Trunks. I don't, I don't see much of a difference. Except he's wearing, instead of his usual uniform, he's wearing a, like a color variant of the D that Krillin is wearing. And what's the reverse of this? Future Krillinx. Okay, well, the the outfit looks cool. Uh, I like the, the different colored jacket. The the head looks a bit weird, because it, it essentially looks like Trunks has shaved his head. And he found out underneath he's got the the six dot things that Krillin has. Alright, powered up. Super Saiyan. Okay. Let's move on to the next one. So we got Spopovich and Dende. So we got Spopo Day. Okay. The, that's a, a neat little one right there. I'd have to say. I have no issues with this one at all. Looks like a, a little guy who... This little guy looks like he could get uh, Bobbity uh, run for the money with. Looking like the, the evil mastermind and creating some monster for the Z-Fighters. All right, what is the reverse? Denvich. Basically, almost looks like a Namekian on steroids, essentially. Yep, Namekian on steroids. Okay, let's just move on. We got Chilled and Bojack transformed. So that's Chillac. I mean, everything here looks good until you get to the head. Like, the head looks messed up. It's like, I don't even know if that's part of his head now, or if this is like a mask. Not a mask. Like, he's wearing it like a weird hat that you would wear on an ankle or something. What is the reverse of this? Bojald. Okay, th- that's again another hideous monster. Let's get out of here. Trunks and Piccolo. So that's future Trucolo. It looks like Trunks a bit deformed here in the neck area I'm thinking and it looks like he has like weird tattoos essentially power it up Uh, it does slightly look better I think Super Saiyan but not much better just I can't put my finger on but there is something that looks like it's off with this guy all right so we got future future Pyconks Pyconks I think that looks that looks nice. I like it. Power it up. Okay, that's that's a good one. So we got Brawly, Legendary, Super Saiyan, and Old Kai. So we have Old, Brokai, Legendary, Super Saiyan. I mean, this old guy looks like he just like got hit by lightning or something. It looks like that with his, his hair. Oh boy. And what is the reverse? Old, Kali, Legendary, Super Saiyan. That looks pretty cool. Like, it almost looks like a really buffed up purple version of Birder. That, that's what I'm, it, it reminds me of. Okay, let's see what the next one we can get. This is Denbulls. <laughs> Dead Day Ed Bubbles. What the heck is this? It's, is this what a Namekian monkey would be? I have no clue how else to describe this than that. All right, l- what is the reverse? That is Doobdy. Okay, this almost looks like like a child version of Super Saiyan 4. Like, if you were if someone was born Super Saiyan 4, this is what it, I think it would look it almost would look like. Except for the, the the monkey head part there, but yeah. I mean both of them are not terrible, so we've we've seen way worse so far. What is the next one? TN Shinhan and Android 18, so we got Tigoid 18. Alright, that, that just looks weird. And the reverse is Androine. Not bad. Um, not bad at all. I don't know what else to say. So, let's just move on to the next one. So we got Garlic Jr., Super, and Bubbles. So we got Super 
Garbles Jr., another weird monkey creature, and the reverse of that is Super Bublik Jr., okay, another weird deformed monkey person. It just looks weird. The ears look huge. It's just the ears do not look like they're in proportion with the body. Okay, and let's go to the next one. We got Pycon and Raditz. We got Pits. Okay, this, it looks pretty cool. Essentially, it looks like Pycon just wearing Raditz's armor. But Pycon actually has eyebrows this time. And if we reverse it, we got Radicon. Yeah, another nice combination right there. That that looks pretty cool. I mean, I'm not so sure I'm a fan of the skin tone because it just does not fit. I think a darker skin tone would have worked a little bit better. But it is what it is with the randomizer. What's the next one? So we got Android 8 and Fortune Teller Baba. So we got Fortune Teller Androba. That essentially just looks like a chibi version of Android 8. That that looks like a weird little chibi version of Android 8 and uses a little crystal ball to get around. And the reverse of that is Fortune Teller Bayoid 8. It looks like Android... I'm going to say it again. This looks like Android 8 got invited to a costume party and chose to dress up as Fortune Teller Baba for the costume. That That's what it looks like. It just looks funny. And what's the next one? We've got Pan and Android 17. So we got Payoid 17. Basically looks like if Pan was a teenage boy, essentially. And that. Okay, pretty cool. And if we were to switch the two, we got Androan. Really does not look much different. It looks like more like Pan just has slightly longer hair. And Super Saiyan? Oh, with her Super Saiyan, it looks like she lost, like, whatever that, like, hair band or whatever it was. I think this might actually be the last one. So this is Baby Goku and Videl. So we got Baby Godel. Um, I have no clue what to think because we've got the the Saiyan pod in the back here. Uh, what is powered up? Okay. Uh, it, it just, this just looks weird. I'm sorry. It just looks weird. I don't know what else to say. We got Baby Vito. Okay, that makes more sense. That fits way better. Powered up. Oh, look at that. And we lost the pod. It, this does seem a little bit weird because I feel like I'm looking at a baby version of Videl and, for some, and that just seems off that I'm looking at a naked baby. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. So please like and subscribe. Leave me some feedback in the comments below. Also, I would recommend if you're a fan of anything Dragon Ball, checking out Mosco X. If you're a fan of Dragon Ball or anything Dragon Ball related, it's, it's a fun channel to go to, to watch his videos on the different discussions, the reviews, he does some what-if episodes. So, if you're a fan of Dragon Ball, I would check that out. And I may do another one of these? I'm not quite sure yet. I'd like to see if I'm, maybe with the randomizer, am able to get one that we've already seen before when I try again at a future point. And again, this is Weapon Gojira X, signing off. Bye!